What is today? My favorite day. Story time Sunday. Jimothy! Jimothy! Subscribe to Jimothy. Yo, yo, yo! Good morning, cream pack! Okay, y'all. I want you to do me a favor. Picture this. After driving for approximately 5 minutes and 13 seconds, you find the perfect parking spot and you hop out of your vehicle. You step out and pace towards the iconic blue pearly gates of Walmart. Things are normal as you walk under that heated lamp which sits gingerly above the automatic sliding doors. You think to yourself, huh, the enter and exit signs are placed on the wrong sides. But what is right and wrong? And like many n****s before you, there is a 94.27% chance that you are likely to choose whichever door has the least amount of people coming out of it. No matter. First, you are drawn to the smell of new, which can't be fully described in words, but it is a smell that broke n****s like myself are checked to like slugs in a driveway after a warm summer's rain. You are eventually greeted by the likes of an elderly gentleman or woman who also doubles as a moral security guard who checks your receipt as you leave, cause we all know damn well that Grandpa Ken ain't toting that motherfucking iron like my boy baby after he was caught busting at the ops on aisles 4 while shopping for diapers and carmation formula. And seriously, who finna steal from grandparents? Sit your black Air Force One wearing ass down, Craig! And you too, Felicia from third period, who always pulling up to class wearing those dirty ass Adidas sweatpants, the colorful ass flip flops will be blacker than the civil rights movement at the bottom, and that bottle of smart water you've been filling up with dumb water out of the tap for the past nine months. Real talk though, big love to your sustainable recycling practices. We stand our earth loving queens out here. Ain't that right, Cream Pack? But sit your ass down! Granny don't need another heart attack, cause you and Craig need another bag of hot Cheetos, iPhone chargers, and that daily planner because you know petty thievery as a career is very competitive at the moment the market is very oversaturated and to be disorganized in an economy where the go-getters always win that's just bad for business anywho you're past the entrance way you're past the area with the shopping carts and grandpa jerry then a few step later ah you are fully submerged in the Walmart experience. To your left and to your right, you are immediately bombarded by savings. You weren't gonna buy that family-sized tub of Heinz tomato ketchup, but the bold black numbers displaying the price said, nah fam, I know you only got $3.84 in your bank account, but what's another overdraft this month, right? A few aisles go by and your feet are moving right along and you think to yourself, I, a genius of moderate proportions, am glad I didn't waste no time getting dressed and ready and just pulled up in my sweatpants with a couple of curious stains in the front, bed head, and stink breath because I haven't got around to brushing them candy corns I got attached to my gums. You get a whiff of yourself. Sure, you smell like a Burger King Whopper with extra onions, but as you look around, seriously, who do you have to impress? The old nigga with the one-piece swimsuit looking like he ready for a plus-size Sports Illustrated cover shoot? The lady who collecting kids on leashes of different races like they wild Pokemon in the Viridian Forest and she just re-upped on Ultra Balls? You're not there to impress Bill with the meanest jean short apron skirt combo ready to throw the coldest barbecue this side of town, hide your turkeys, chickens, and cattle. No, 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 no. And you're certainly not there to impress Quisha with two plungers on her back but still can't pull it together? Uh-uh. And it definitely ain't Kevin who looks Looking like a thick with two C snack, rocking his sexy schoolgirl outfit, looking scrumptious than a motherfucker. I, I, I mean, crazy, crazy. Cause you know, I'm not into that sort of stuff. Yeah. But seriously, who do you got to impress? These niggas crazy. Anyway, the customer service here is impeccable. Walmart employees are running as fast as they can, jumping over shopping carts, wet floor signs, and them six-year-old niggas that be testing out the bikes unsupervised in the toy aisle in neighboring areas, all just to greet you with the most pleasant, most wonderful, most unmistakable blank stare as they walk past you, avoiding eye contact, not to be bothered by your dumbass questions like, excuse me ma'am, do you know where I may find the bathroom? Or, do you know where the bread aisle is? Or, ma'am, what is the strength of the covalent bond between atoms and dihydrogen monoxide under the atmospheric pressures experienced here on Earth as compared to gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn? The only way you can get their attention is if you run at a rate of 13 kilometers an hour over an extended period equivalent to the time it takes to get from canned goods on aisle 6 to the section in the electronics department where they sell old CDs of Kids Pop 12 and Kid Cudi's Man on the Moon 2 upon which you must muster up the courage to place your body within swinging distance of Gregory who hate his job and yell EXCUSE ME SIR at a decibel range that will get you a noise violation at a college party Don't worry though These niggas crazy that work at Walmart No cap You ever see a Walmart employee plead with their baby mama at the check stand for not paying child support and sleeping around with the plunger girl from earlier all while ringing up your 
items at a pace that have you questioning how this nigga got only two arms and he bagging my shit like a human octopus. Bro, it took two hours to fill my cart and you put over 200 items into six bags in under 4.8 seconds, not even blinking an eye or even breaking a sweat through your wave cap or even spilling that 40 ounce of old E. I seen that shit with my own eyes and that's just commonplace in this establishment. Niggas brown here are crazy. But it's at this point you get to wondering, damn, I wonder how would I know if I'm the crazy one at Walmart? You think to yourself, what a foolish thought. You level-headed smart son of a bitch. There is no way you're the crazy person. You keep walking and after about 13 minutes you realize that you've been through damn near every aisle in Walmart and you just came for one thing. All you wanted was a bottle of tile hand soap. By this point, you're at the tire center. No worries, you cut across the store, galloping through the aisles in an increasingly fast pace and then you arrive. You're on aisle 16, the aisle with shower curtains, bath towels, and most importantly, mirrors. <gasps> you slowly approach this mirror, because by now, you must have worked up quite the sweat. Inching closer, eyes closed, you open them. Ah! You're the Ninja Rocket Pledgers, a BBW swimsuit, two Pokeballs filled up with Dr. Pepper and Flaming Hot Cheeto dust, a pair of jean short apron skirt combo bottoms, dirty flip flops, kids bump 1 through 13, a Walmart employee shirt, iPhone chargers, black Air Force Ones, and a do rag! You spray as fast as you can towards the entrance, passing through every aisle, and Grandma Margaret not showing her a receipt. You hop in your vehicle, rip down the sun visor, and then after looking into that little mirror, you realize everything is all. Right. <sighs> You're normal. This can't be true. You run back into Walmart just to see if everything's all right. You open up your front facing camera. <gasps> you run back out as fast as you can. And once again, you open up your front facing camera. Nothing. Wait, 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 hold up. Nothing. You're, you're, you're normal. How? You also look at the time. Three hours went by? You go back into Walmart and you realize the moment you step into that door, you are that crazy motherfucker you've been talking shit about every time you go in there. We all are. Over the course of the next few minutes, you watch people walk in and they too transform the second they pass through those doors. Once you walk into Walmart, you are walking into an alternate universe in which everything about you changes and you become that crazy motherfucker we always hear about on the news and witness every time we're in there. And this all is just a long way of me saying, Shop local, my nigga, with your crazy ass and support the community or else your ass will be in jail like me because it turns out Grandma Margaret at the front door was a third degree black belt and she tackled my ass down and cuffed me for stealing iPhone chargers, flaming hot Cheetos, and a daily planner. Anyways, with that, I'd like to conclude today's episode. Now, if you like this video, feel free to hit us with a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you and see you next week. Don't melt because a milkshake can wait. You know what time it is, y'all. Shout out time. Welcome to the cream pack, new and old. Now, if you want to make it in the next week's video, all you gotta do is comment down below or tell some friends about us. Really helps us to grow. Also, rules for the monthly t-shirt giveaway in the description section, announcing winner next week. All right, y'all. Shout out to KMCM, Sam Sanchez, McCall, Daniel Tabaris, Dozen, Name, Robert Brown, Eunice, Scruff Kyle, The Pizza Man, The Burrito Man, and JDC Animate Slash Stories. I love you. See you next week. Ah! All my words that come from lips, pretty between our ribs. All that movement in our hips, love inside our ribs. All that blood that passed through veins, all dissolve inside of it. I could keep you breathing, could you take a lot of it? Could you take a lot of liquor? Could you take me when I'm sober? Could you take me when I'm boring? Could you take me when I'm ugly? Could you take me when I'm beautiful? What words cannot describe it, so we'll have to sit in silence, hold each other till it's over if you're true. Follow me to the edge of existence of a dream.